Hello let's talk today about the benefits of grape. The grape is it good? Find out if it's worth using consuming grapes I in your day. And your 06 main benefits of grapes for your health. The grape is the fruit of the vine, Vitus sp, a plant in the Vitaceae family. It is often used to produce juice, jam, jelly, wine and raisins, and can also be consumed raw. Among the species of vines we can mention. Vitus vinifera, the most common type of vine in the production of wine in Europe. Vitus labrusca, North American species, used in the production of juice, table grapes, and, sometimes, wine. Vitus riparia, a type of North American wild vine, sometimes used to make wine. Vitus rotundifolia, muscadine grape, used for sweets and sometimes wine. Vitus estivalis, in which the Norton variety is used to make wine. Greetings and welcome to Naturiza DA Amaznia channel, I ask you to subscribe and activate the bell leave yours. Lay to strengthen the channel and share it with your friends and family so they can get to know our history of knowledge and let's go by video. Vine The vine, vine or vine is a vine of the Vitaceae family, with a twisted trunk, flexible branches, large leaves divided into five-pointed lobes, greenish flowers on branches, and whose fruit is the grape. Native to Asia, the vine is cultivated in all temperate regions. The vine produces grapes, the fruit of which wine is produced. The cultivation of the vine for the production of wine is one of the oldest activities of civilization. Evidence indicates the cultivation of the vine for the production of wine in the region of Egypt and Asia Minor during the Neolithic period at the same time that humanity, settled in permanent colonies, began to grow food and raise livestock, in addition to producing pottery. History Grape cultivation began around 6,000 to 8,000 years ago in the Middle East. Yeast, one of the first microorganisms known to man, occurs naturally in the skins of grapes, leading to the production of alcoholic beverages such as wine. The first traces of red wine are seen in ancient Armenia, where the oldest winery in the world has been found, dating to around 4000 BC. Around the 9th century, the city of Shiraz was known for producing one of the finest wines in the Middle East. Thus, it has been proposed that the name of Syrah red wine has origins in Shiraz, a city in Persia where the grape was used to make Shirazi wine. Hieroglyphics in ancient Egypt recall the cultivation of grapes, and history also attests that ancient peoples of Greece, Phoenicia and Rome also cultivated grapes for food and wine production. Later, the cultivation of grapes spread across Europe, North Africa, and finally North America. Grapes belonging to the genus Vitus proliferated naturally in the wilds of North America, and were part of the diet of many Native Americans, but were considered by European settlers to be unsuitable for wine production. Brazil In Brazil, vine cultivation began in 1535, in the captaincy of São Vicente, brought by the Portuguese. Italian immigration to São Paulo and the southern region of Brazil at the end of the 19th century gave a great boost to the culture. São Paulo, Parana, Rio Grande do Sul, Santa Catarina, Pernambuco and Bahia are major producers. The best production times vary with the climatic characteristics of each region. At Sejust Sao Paulo Terminal Warehouse, grapes originating in the state of Sao Paulo from the regions of Bachacatu, Campinas, Itapetininga and Sorocaba predominate, from November to March, and from Dracena and Jales from July to November. Largest national supplier from July to November, a market window where few suppliers enter. The northeast of Brazil concentrates its offer from August to December. Grapes are one of the most exported fruits and also one of the most imported by Brazil. Chilean, American and Argentinian grapes have a growing market in Brazil. The Fruit Sectorial Chamber, an organ of the Secretary of Agriculture and Supply of the State of Sao Paulo, presents the grape classification norms. World Production Country Production in 2017 Millions of tons per year. China. 13. Italy. 7.1. United States. 6.6. .6. France. 5.9. Spain. 5.3. Turkey. 4.2. India. 2.9. 
South Africa. 2. Chile. 2. Argentina. 1.9. Brazil. 1.9. Iran. 1.8. Australia. 1.8. Egypt. 1.7. Uzbekistan. 1.6. Romania. 1. Germany. 1. Greece. 1. Afghanistan. 0.9. Portugal. 0.8. World total 74.2. Production in Brazil. In 2017, Brazil produced 1.68 million tons of grapes, being the 11th largest producer in the world. Rio Grande do Sul is the largest national producer. In 2017, the state produced 956,000 tons. However, due to climatic factors such as hail, which destroys the plantations, the productivity of Rio Grande do Sul fluctuates, and in many years, part of the production is lost. In 2016, the state produced 413,000 tons, in 2017 it was 956,000 tons, in 2018 it was 822,000 tons, and in 2019 it was 666,000 tons. In other states of the country, production is more stable. Pernambuco is the second largest grape producer in the country. In 2017 the state produced 390,000 tons. In the same year, Sao Paulo produced 133,000 tons, Santa Catarina 65,000 tons, Parana 56,000 tons and Bahia 51,000 tons, among others. Rio Grande do Sul is responsible for almost 90% of the Brazilian production of grapes destined for the processing of wine, sparkling wine, grape juice and other wine products, mainly in and around Caxias do Sul. Brazil is among the 20 largest wine producers in the world. Features Grapes grow in clusters of 15 to 300 fruits, and can be red, black, dark blue, yellow, green, orange and pink. White grapes are naturally green in color, and are evolutionarily derived from the purple grape. Mutations in two regulatory genes in white grapes turn off the production of anthocyanins, which are responsible for the purple color of grapes. Anthocyanins and other polyphenols are responsible for the various hues which range from purple to red. The fruits can also be used in the manufacture of various products such as jellies, juices, ice cream and soft drinks, and their peel can be used to make panettone. Religious Meaning In the Bible, grapes are first mentioned when Noah grows them on his farm, Genesis 9 verses 20-21. References to wine are made in the book of Proverbs, 20-1, and the book of Isaiah, 5-1-25. Deuteronomy, 18,3-5, 14, 22-27, 16,13-15, reports the use of wine during Jewish festivals. Grapes were also significant to both Greeks and Romans, and their god of agriculture, Dionysus, was linked to grapes and wine, often being depicted with grape leaves on his head. Grapes are especially symbolic for Christians, who from the very beginning of the church have used wine in the celebration of the Eucharist. Views on the meaning of wine vary between denominations. In Christian art, grapes often represent the blood of Christ. Grape Varieties In addition to the scientific classification, the grapes are classified according to the destination of production, whether they are for table or for viniculture, receiving proper names. Table grapes, for fresh consumption or juices. Vitus vinifera, used in winemaking. Pests. Insect and nematode. Adult flea beetles eat buds and leaves that unfold. The larvae feed on flower clusters and skeletonize the leaves. Like any other plant species, the vine is exposed to environmental influences, diseases, and pests. There are various pests and diseases of the vine throughout the world. Most of them are insects and, in less cases, also mites and nematodes. Pests are causing direct and indirect damage. They eat underground and above-ground vine organs and are transmitters of fungal, viral and phytoplasma diseases. 
Pests that threaten the vine are butterflies, cicadas, insects, aphids, thrips, beetles, mites, etc. One of the most destructive vine pests in history was grape phylloxera, which damaged and destroyed several vineyards in Europe. It arrived in Europe from North America in the late 1850s. As American vines were resistant to these pests, wine growers solved the problem by grafting European vines onto American vines. Poor vine growth may be the result of tall nematode populations that feed on the roots. Feeding nematodes can result in increased winter lesions. Interim action thresholds prescribe treatment when 15% or more of leaves are destroyed by defoliating insects or when 4% or more of bunches are destroyed by bunch feeding insects, but these general guidelines can vary in severity based on several factors. Fungal diseases. Fungal diseases are the largest group of plant pathogens. After infection, they are spread by wind and rain, insects and other organisms can also be transmitters. The signs of yeast infection are freckles, necrosis, moldy covering, rotting and withering. The most common fungal diseases of grapes are downy mildew, powdery mildew, gray mold, dead arm, caused by two different fungi, Eutypa lata and Phomopsis viticola, and black rot, phytoplasma, viruses and virus-like diseases. Phytoplasmas conform to the cellular structure similar to bacteria. They live in the phloem tissue of the plant. Viruses are microscopic pathogens that live inside living cells. After entering the vines, they spread all over the underground and above-ground parts of the plant. In nature, viruses are transmitted through vectors, insects, mites, and nematodes. The alterations that appear in the case of viral and phytoplasmic diseases are alterations in the shape, size and color of the blade and alterations in the aerial part and in the bunches of the vine. Bacterial diseases Bacteria are simple single-celled organisms that grow quickly. They penetrate vines through natural vine openings or through vine wounds. The most common signs of bacterial infections are tissue inflammation and cancer wound formation. Grapes, white or dark. Nutritional value per 100 g, 3.53 ounces. Energy. 288 kj, 70 kilocalories. Carbohydrates. Total carbohydrates. 18.1 g. Sugars. 15.48 g. Dietary fiber. 0.9 g. Fats. Total fat. 0.16 g. Proteins. Total proteins. 0.72 g. Vitamins. Thiamine, vit. B1. 0.069 mg, 6%. Riboflavin, vit. B2. 0.07 mg, 6%. Niacin, vit. B3. 0.188 mg, 1%. Pantothenic acid, B5. 0.05 mg, 1%. Vitamin B6. 0.086 mg, 7%. Folic acid, vit. B9. 2G, 1%. Hill. 5.6 mg, 1%. Vitamin C. 3.2 mg, 4%. Vitamin E. 0.19 mg, 1%. Vitamin K. 14.6 g, 14%. Minerals. Calcium. 10 mg, 1%. Iron. 0.36 mg, 3%. Magnesium. 7 mg, 2%. Manganese. 0.071 mg, 3%. Phosphor. 20 mg, 3%. Potassium. 191 mg, 4%. Sodium. 2 mg, 0%. Zinc. 0.07 mg, 1%. Fluoride. 
7.8 G. Top 6 Benefits of Grapes for Your Health There is a presence of minerals, such as calcium, iron, and potassium, and a significant amount of fiber essential for the proper functioning of our body, especially the digestive system. The main nutrients contained in grapes, how about knowing some of their benefits for our health? 1. Prevention of Heart Problems Heart problems are unfortunately very common in our society. Sedentary habits associated with the great stress of everyday life make our hearts pay a very high price in terms of health. Due to their nutrients, such as vitamin K, grapes are a great option to ensure the health of this organ and the entire circulatory system, helping with blood clotting, strengthening the arteries and reducing bad cholesterol. 2. Improved Vision Health Do you have vision problems? As with cardiovascular disease, many Brazilians have eye problems. Most of the time, they can be corrected with the help of glasses or contact lenses, but in some cases, they can be potentially dangerous. According to some studies, grapes have the power to reduce retinal deterioration, which is very common especially in diabetic patients or those with hypertension. In this way, you can prevent blindness and make your vision much healthier. 3. Blood Pressure Control Since we mentioned hypertension, we cannot fail to treat it. This problem is correlated with several other diseases, being one of the causes of cardiovascular, eye, neural problems, among others. Because of this, its prevention is essential. Grapes are rich in potassium, a mineral that helps neutralize sodium, one of the main villains of high blood pressure. This makes its consumption a great supporting treatment in reducing this problem. 4. Blood Glucose Balance Diabetes is one of the most common problems worldwide. In Brazil, it affects millions of inhabitants and is presented at different levels, such as type 1, type 2, and gestational diabetes. Despite being sweet, grapes do not raise blood sugar levels, being released for consumption by this group. They actually even help balance insulin and glucose, helping to maintain the health of diabetics. 5. Improved Digestive System Health Digestive system problems can manifest in many ways. In the most common of them, the feces dry and evacuation becomes difficult, which can cause injuries and other more serious problems. To avoid this type of problem, two points are essential, frequent fiber intake and water consumption to hydrate them. Grapes are rich in both and can be a good adjunct treatment for constipation, helping to balance digestion. 6. Decreased risk of developing cancer Is the prevention of various types of cancer. Although it is not a 100% sure help, it is undeniable that its components play a fundamental role in maintaining cellular health. The main culprits for this are antioxidants. As already mentioned, free radicals are compounds that are harmful to the health of cells and that can cause mutations in their structure. Therefore, eliminating them is critical to preventing problems such as cancer. Did you like the Naturiza DA Amaznia channel? I ask you again to subscribe and activate the bell leave yours. Lay to strengthen the Naturiza DA Amaznia channel and share it with your friends and family so they can get to know our history of knowledge and I say goodbye hereby.